Hey everyone, my name is Makeda Valletta, also known as the Body Scientist. And um, in case you don't know me, um, a little bit about my background. I have a degree in exercise and sports science. Um, I've done graduate work in applied physiology and nutrition. I am a strength and conditioning specialist certified by the NSCA. And what, what we do um, is take athletes over the competitive season and we design workouts for them in the gym to help increase performance and to decrease injury using periodization methods. So it's different than what a coach does. A coach teaches an athlete the sport and the skills. Um, we are focused on uh, doing sport-specific training to help increase performance and decrease injury. And I'm also a sports nutritionist certified by the ISSN, the International Society of Sports Nutrition. And um, I've been pole dancing, well I started pole dancing in 2011 and 2012, and then I stopped for two years. Um, I started again in March of 2014, so now it is March 2015, and it has been a year of me going hard on the pole. I am now an ex-pole certified um, pole instructor and elevated education certified pole instructor. So two pole certifications, but I'm still very much a student myself. Um, but I made this video making this video because I was just at um, a pole studio and I was listening to some pole dancers who just finished competing and they were having a conversation about their diet and one of them was talking about how it was so hard for her not to eat any carbs and um, then she made the statement that um, sugar didn't bother her but the carbs bothered her and that statement doesn't make sense um, because sugar is carbs and another thing that I hear a lot of people say, a lot of people seem to not realize that fruits and vegetables are mostly carbs. Um, for most of what fruits and vegetables are composed of are carbs. Now, carbs are not wholly a bad thing. It depends on the source of them. It depends on when you're eating them and what you're eating them with. But as an athlete, as somebody who's very physically active, our muscles and our brain utilize carbohydrates. So if you don't eat enough carbohydrates, you start having brain fog, you can't think straight. Um, and our muscles utilize carbohydrates as fuel when we do anaerobic and aerobic activity. And if you don't know the difference between anaerobic and aerobic, you can check out my YouTube video where I go into depth about that because I won't be doing that in this video. Um, but just know that whatever kind of physical activity you're doing, you need carbohydrates. And you need fast absorbing carbohydrates that hit your blood sugar um, quickly. After we deplete our blood sugar, our blood glucose, then our body starts to tap into our muscle glycogen, which is the glucose that's stored in our muscles. It's a carbohydrate that's stored in our muscles. This is why also after we do, we complete um, an intense workout, we need to put simple carbohydrates back into our system so that our muscles can reuptake them and store them again so that we can go hard tomorrow. Okay? Um, and as sports nutritionists, that's very much what I do. We're looking at athletes, uh, you know, their, their whole entire... Um, training regimen each day, each week, and looking at what, how much protein, how much fat, how much carbohydrates do they need to be able to go hard and get the, the most out of each session, but also be able to recover so you can go hard again tomorrow, okay? Um, carbohydrates is extremely important. And it's different when you're, if you're somebody that has a lot of body fat and you're not doing anything at all, then your, your body is very effective at taking carbohydrates and making it into fat. If you're somebody that has a lot of muscle, you really don't need to worry about that. If you're somebody that has um, a lot of muscle and you're active, you don't need to worry about that. And if you do have extra body fat and you're still really active, you still need some carbohydrates so you don't get like dizzy. When people, when, when people start getting dizzy, also dehydration is connected to um, low blood sugar as well. This is the reason why I see that the whole idea of not eating carbs and you're getting ready to compete, which is not good for any athlete. That comes from the bodybuilding fitness competitor world, which is one reason why I'm really not into that world, because they manipulate nutrition so they can look a certain way. Most fitness competitors and bodybuilders, if you look at them in the off-season, they don't look like that. A lot of them are chubby, but all of a sudden it's time for competition and they get all cut up. That's because they're like carb-starved themselves. And what that does is it severely dehydrates them, because in order for us to store water, I mean in order for, carbohydrates pull water into the muscles. Carbohydrate pulls water into our muscles, so bodybuilders, they want to look so shredded, so they don't want any water in their muscles. So it, it enhances that shredded look. 
but at the same time it dehydrates them and this is the reason why if you are dehydrated you need more than just water you need something with carbohydrates and electrolytes meaning sodium and potassium um, and definitely carbohydrates too so I wouldn't recommend drinking Gatorade um, you can get it from coconut water preferably unpasteurized if you can get that um, or watermelon juice is a very good source or all fruits and vegetables high in potassium or have potassium but the ones that are the highest are bananas um, avocados and watermelon but bananas have a lot of sugar too and so the thing about watermelon juice and coconut water is that the ratio of potassium and sugar is perfect um, and if you had orange juice you could dilute it half water half orange juice but any fresh squeezed juice too you can get that the only time I recommend drinking Gatorade or Powerade is if you're literally about to pass out and the only options that you have is regular water and Gatorade then in that case drink Gatorade because regular water doesn't have any carbohydrates or electrolytes but Gatorade on the other hand has very little electrolytes if you take a bottle of Gatorade and you take a bottle of coconut water and you compare how much sodium and potassium is in it I don't have any bottles right now but you can easily do it online you see it's a huge difference like Gatorade will have like 60 milligrams of potassium and coconut water will have like 600 in the same serving and we need a lot of potassium if you're working out and you start feeling like your muscles are cramping, you get a Charlie horse, you're dehydrated. Okay? You start getting dizzy, lightheaded, you're dehydrated. You need carbohydrates, you need electrolytes. Um, and so when you're talking about, so like, it just, it, and the thing is with female athletes in particular, a lot of times get so obsessed with this look as well that they don't eat what they need to eat to sustain the level of activity because they're worried about how they look. But if you want to perform at your highest level, see bodybuilders and in, in, um, fitness competitors they don't really do much. They stand there and flex, you know, and then you have the fitness competitors that do like a 30 second routine, but 30 seconds is so short. That's nothing, you know, um, but they can't do any more than that because they don't eat anything. So they probably pass out. Um, and it's not healthy. It's not healthy. So if you are trying, to, if you're competing, training to compete or really perform at a high level, you need to eat properly. And starving yourself with carbohydrates is the last thing that, that you should be doing. Um, and so this is a short video. I just wanted to make this because I hear this a lot. And, you know, when I'm in classes and I'm a student, I like to stay in my lane because I don't always want to seem like to know it all. But technically, I am a sports nutritionist. And I hear a lot of, um, I hear a lot of um, trainers and dance teachers and stuff like that giving wrong information. And, you know, people look to their teachers, to their trainers for that kind of information, but they're not sports nutritionists, they're not sports scientists, they're not exercise physiologists, and most of the time they don't really read good research, and what they are reading is coming from the bodybuilding world, which is not geared towards performance at all. Okay, so just know that. Um, but of course, if you're getting your carbohydrates from grains, that's not great. So I wouldn't recommend, like, eating a bunch of bread and pasta, um, but you can eat lacto-fermented fruits and vegetables. Um, um, and, and, and raw fruits and vegetables, um, lightly cooked fruits and vegetables, having them with some cream and some saturated fat so you can even absorb more nutrients. So spinach cooked in butter and yams with butter and berries and cream and peaches and cream. Um, can, you know, you can, so fruits and vegetables lacto fermented or lightly cooked with some, some fats. Um, and also, um, if you're going to have grains, then you want to properly prepare them. I'm not going to get into this video, but I mean, get into that in this video. But I do recommend a wonderful woman um, who has a blog. Uh, her name is Sarah Pope, I think. And um, the Healthy Home Economist. You can find her on YouTube and her blog. And she gives a lot of information about how to properly prepare grains. Um, but grains can be an issue, especially because of the phytic acid and the anti nutrients in it. It can cause joint issues and can cause inflammation in people to gain weight, gain fat easier. So you might want to be careful with those carbs, but you don't want to cut out carbs all, all together. And saturated fat and stuff like that, you, it's also an energy source. And it's very important for digestion. And you can't get enough of that either. So don't think if you're competing for a pole competition or any major competition, like, oh, I can't eat saturated fat, I can't eat carbohydrates. Doing that to yourself is going to make you um, decrease your performance, okay? So even if you've got a gold, you might have been, been even better, okay? Or if you came in third, maybe you would have came in second or first. I don't know. Or maybe you came in first, but you you were done for like two weeks, you know, and you're so depleted. So you don't want to do that to yourself. Um, so I'm stop that here. You can check out more of my stuff on my YouTube video and join my YouTube page, The Body Scientist 81. 
and on my blog, thebodyscientist.com. And if you want or need personalized sports nutrition info, you can reach me at mvaletta at thebodyscientist.com. I do work with clients one on one. Okay, guys, so hope this video was helpful and don't starve yourself. All right? Bye bye.